Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, going over an indie comic called Nostalgia. It's already up to issue number four. Issue number five is coming out tomorrow, actually, for this miniseries, which is planned to be eventually a graphic novel. Um, now I read the first issue. I haven't read the rest, uh, which I will. And I'll give an update later on. I haven't read actually comics in quite some time. I used to read them in print, but now uh, trying out comicsology unlimited uh the writer to this book his name is scott hoffman he used to be a musician uh now turned comic book writer and i was impressed he's a very good writer he's got good things coming for his first debut it's, it's really good the artist is an experienced artist I, hopefully i can say his name right is dana joe then joe's zz joe i don't know <laughs> call him danny i guess um doesn't say too much about him, but on uh, on this page over here, it shows his uh, bulk of work. He's done a lot of French comic books. And uh, as far as his artwork goes, I, I really, really did like it. They had a really good colorist as well. Now, this first issue of um, Nostalgia, like I said, I read it. Uh, it's very stylistic. It starts with a fake website talking about this uh, famous you know, rock star nostalgia who hasn't made music in a while in a dystopian future somehow. Uh, they're overwhelmed by, you know, something they call like a, a feed. Almost like a, the news are coming through constantly and then everything, all the news sound horrible, like, you know, rebels. Um, and the scene of him walking around, there's a little corporation called Synod with a shell. I think that's going to be playing a big part in, in the storyline. You can see what I was talking earlier about the colorist. It's a really good way he connected with the artist. In a way artists connect with the colorist, the way the writer has to connect with the actual artist. Very stylistic. Reminds me a little bit of um, Frank Miller, the way the guy writes, and the use of shadows. Uh, the story so far is like pretty much it, it just introducing some of the characters, the world they live in. Uh, I don't want to spoil everything away. At the end, it's some nostalgia about his old, his past, how things were, how Earth was, and uh, it kind of ends with a little surprise cliffhanger. Issue number two, like I said, is already out. Reopolis All Access, same uh, same artist, same writer. Uh, he also does the covers. The artist live live in Mex in Moscow. That's issue number three from Nostalgia. And then nostalgia number four, you know, looks like a Asian kind of banner. And uh, issue number five, like I said, comes out this week, World Tour. Issue number five uh, comes out tomorrow, actually, July uh, 11. I mean, so far, I like the first story. Like I said, I'm going to read the next four issues, especially after it comes out tomorrow. And I'll give you an actual review of this comic. For now, I just wanted to talk about it. And uh, like I said, I'm still learning my way around <laughs> uh, comicsology. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for future information on this comic book. Thank you.